What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We are getting very close to Farming Simulator 19. So to celebrate, we're doing a couple days of top 10s. Today's top 10 list is for console mods. Now, of course, they have these on PC as well, but these are all available on console. So I wanted to make sure that we had all of those. So let's get right into the list at number 10. Oh yeah. At number 10, we have the Man Joskin pack. Now with this pack, we got two trucks and two tippers. These things are really cool. These are from Black Sheep Modding. You have front three-point hitches, rear trailer hitches. You can do standard wide tires or you could do four street tires on these. You could change the color, the main color. You could change the tire color. You could change the little stripe on the sides of both of these. It's so cool. And it comes with two different models of tippers. Now this is the hook lift support model. And of course we have the regular semi as well. These are six by sixes and that's an eight by eight. So all wheels turn. So cool, so freaking cool. Next at number nine, we have the fill trigger tools. Now I've tried to get just a base kind of model. I got all the shovels out and of course we have the quantum as well right here. So you've got this, which is great for using with manure or pig food especially, but you can use it with seeds or fertilizer as well. And we have skid steer, telehandler, front loader, and wheel loader. If we go into the store, what we want to do is go to front loaders and go all the way to the right. We've got a couple different options here to choose from. We have the universal bucket. We have the manure fork, fork with grapple, and silage cutter. These are all exactly like the base models, but they have a fill trigger add-on to them. Not only does it stop there. Oh, no. If you go to wheel loaders and go all the way to the right, we find the same thing, a universal bucket. In telehandlers, again, all the way to the right, we have a shovel and a manure fork. And in skid steers, oh yeah, even here, universal shovel and manure fork. And of course, if you want to go into the belt systems, I'll go up to the top and all the way to the right, and you will find the auto load fill trigger for the Quantum as well. These things are awesome. I absolutely love this mod, but I love eight other mods a little bit better. Let's move right into number eight. This is a combination mod. This is the CSZ pack and the auto load bells pack. So let's talk about the CSZ pack for a minute. This comes with just about anything and everything that you could possibly think of for front loaders, wheel loaders, telehandlers, and skid steers. So let's go right over here and let's show you. Now they have all of these versions available for everything. We have round bell forks. We have bell forks with spikes. Bell forks extra elevation. <laughs> bell fork grabber. It's a grabber. You know, you've got the wrapped bell handler, pallet forks, double pallet fork. Pallet fork with grabber, a log grabber, extra large grabber, manure fork, multi-purpose fork, bucket grid, whatever that's for. <laughs> but, uh, that was uh, potatoes and sugar beets. Bucket for beets, multi-purpose bucket, multi-purpose bucket again, multi-purpose bucket with a center unload point. It's just on and on and on. There's all kinds of cool stuff on here. But what I like are these. Let's take a look. So you could probably look at this and say, oh yeah, it's just normal, uh, normal bell spikes, right? Right, DJ? Well, you're almost right. See, there's some weirdness happening right now because guess what? These are auto load. Did you see that? Look, they won't come off because they're auto loaded. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's how you get a... Yeah, maybe we can get this thing to flip. I just got too much weight on the back. And then if I want to unload... Bam. It's so cool. I love this mod. Fantastic. And of course, a mod that I've used so much... Oh yeah, the manure fork. 
This thing will hold about 3,000 liters. I love using that. You've probably seen that on a lot of my Let's Plays. And of course, we can't forget the auto load trailer. This thing is, I mean, it's the end game trailer. It really is. But you can either hold, was it 24 square bales? Is it 32, maybe 36 round bales? It's ridiculous. I know that. 30 round bales. Okay. So 30 round bales or 24 square bales, $12,000. Exactly the same as the end game one. The, it, it, it loads them and unloads them for you. You've got nothing to worry about. This thing is awesome. At number seven, we have the Picon Big Mega Moet. Oh, yeah. Big Mega Moet, whatever you want to call it. This thing is just. It's a big food mixer. Instead of 16,000 liters, it'll hold 64,000 liters. Four times the amount. When you need to make, if you need to make cow food, this thing is the way to go. It is big. The wheels do turn, so you can get in and out of small spaces. It's just awesome. It is just truly awesome. I love that thing. At number six, we have the Crone Big X 1100. Now, not to be confused with the little itty bitty one, this thing is a giant. Of course, you have your Russell Mash, your Crone in New Holland, but we have the other Crone. It is just, it's a bigger version. It's really all it is. And you can use the header for it on the Big X 580. I've tried it, it works. Works just fine, actually. And then of course you have your header for it all the way down here. Now the great thing is because it's so big, you can use any of these headers. You can use that header right there for poplars. You can use the Kemper header, the other Crone, or awesome Ash. You can use the X series accessories, the X disc, or the Easy Flow 300. You can use any of that and they all work and it's awesome. <laughs> but it's the only one that'll kind of handle the weight of this header. I will say this. It's a 10 and a half meter header as opposed to a 9 meter on the New Holland. But it's a beast. Oh yeah, we're going to be seeing this exact one with a 9 meter header in Farming Simulator 19. I'm so excited about that. Rounding out the top 5, we have the Crone Big M500. I don't need to explain this thing, but I'll just go through some basic features. It's got three mowers. 13 point whatever meters wide to do everything you can open this flap right here and just do a whole layer of grass behind it or you can keep them closed like it is now and the augers inside will bring everything down to a single windrow and if you want to bail it you clip a baler on the back if you want to ted it put the three point to single point attacher from the big bud pack that is in the plow section put a tether on the back of that boom you're ready to go it's it's just one of the best mods ever everyone can agree if you need to do cows these three mods right here are going to be what you want to have you want to have all three of these mods just to get started with cows and guess what we're using all three of these mods on this map boom baby at number four we have the weba 6m this should come as no surprise Oh, but DJ, oh, you messed up again, buddy. You got it on backwards. Well, I want to show you why I've got it on backwards. This thing requires 180 horsepower. Now here, we have a tractor with over 300 horsepower. Should be no problem for it to pull it. So, what we want to do is we want to come right here. Well, you know what? Let's let's not. Let's let's go down here because I just want to prove my point. <laughs> Oh, we have a bunch of bells over here. You can just ignore that. Do worry about it. So we want to stick this in the ground. Hire worker. It gets up to 10 miles an hour. No problem. Very good. Let's fire the worker and get them moved out of the way. Now, here we have the Harleyman. And just for fun, I'm going to put it around the front. Oh, yes. I'm going to put it the right way. We're going to hook up to this. <laughs> I just love this. This is, you can use it on just about any tractor, which I'm about to prove. This tractor has 88 horsepower, it requires 180, and it's not just like anything else. It will go slowly. It is Mr. Slowly if there ever was one. Hire worker. Oh yeah, three miles per hour. Check that out. That's top speed too, baby. 
It ain't going no faster than that. Now, let's fire worker, detach, and let's come around here. Let's hook it up backwards. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Smoke, Smokey. He is the one that pointed this out to me during a stream uh, way back when on Allenstein. Check this out. Hire worker, backwards. Now, 10 miles an hour, as fast, if not faster, than a tractor that can actually handle it pulling the other way. Simply incredible. It's amazing. I love this thing just about more than I like any mod. But there's, well, there's three other mods that I like just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But this thing is incredible. As a plow, frontwards, backwards, you can plow forwards, plow backwards, create fields with it. It's three point hitch. You can hook other three point hitch stuff on the back of it. It's just cool. <laughs> At number three, we have the forge and chip silo. Again, if you need to do cows, this is the way you want to go. There are two versions of this. Both look exactly identical from this side. The spout, you pull under it, you get what you need. But over here, this is the difference. Over here, you've just got a little spout here and you pull up and go, and it sucks it in. You can't see it, but it looks like it's dumping it in the ground. But the pickup pattern is all around here. Now, we go up the ramp that is built into this. We see that area out front. And you see under here all of the things that it can take. Now, if you're not sure about this, if you don't know anything about this mod, well, I don't know what to tell you because this is one of the best mods ever for Farming Simulator. But let's take a look at it nonetheless. Forge a chip silo, $25,000. Both will hold 500,000 liters and they will hold wood chips, grass, hay, straw, silage, chaff, and TMR, total mixed ration, power food. That's right. And if you get the version with the ramp, let's say you set it where it's not even, like out here. This area is much higher than the area down there. So what it does is it gives you this little ramp. You get just a little lip going in, but then it has huge extensions all the way down. I've tried to find where these actually stop and I can't seem to find it. This kind of actually looks like this is it, but it's just going into the ground right here. That's it. It's so cool. I love this mod. You want to make power food? Put it in here. It's got everything you need. At number two, we have the Semi Tipper 7000 or 70,006 from Black Sheep Modding. It's a 70,000 tipper, 70,000 liter tipper. It's huge capacity, will dump great, has a trailer hitch on the back. So you can put a dolly on here and hit, attach another one. I think me and Mustang Man did eight or 10 of these at one time. It's crazy. And you can change everything about it. This red can be any color. Down here, the wheel color can be any color. I just went with gray, but you can do any color you want. You can do standard or wide tires with these. And you can make this any color you want. And you can put a little convoy thing on the back. Or, you know, oversized load or something like that. It's just down it. It's just, it looks cool. I love it. <laughs> it's got a beacon. You can put beacons on here. All working lights down the side. This mod is cool. And what should come as no surprise to anyone that knows my channel, the Rayboard Xylor from Black Sheep Mining. Black Sheep Mining's in the top two. Dang. This, it's, again, you've got your skid steer, your telehandler, front or rear three-point hitch. That kind of looks funny, but you, you know what it means. You could put it on a wheel loader. Or not wheel loader. That's a wheel loader. You could put it on a front loader or a wheel loader. It's all exactly the same. It's, this thing's just sweet. You want to cut a tree down? Go for it. We'll jump out here. We'll cut a tree down. Turn it on. There's two ways to do it. You can either ram it and just keep ramming it until it goes away. Unfortunately, the stump will not. You could just go all day. That stump ain't going nowhere. You got to back up to get the stump gone. I don't know why. It just kind of is the way it is. If you want, you go very slowly, listen for it to start chipping, and stop right there. And it'll usually remove the stump a little faster. But DJ, I want to remove stumps and I want to plow at the same time. 
No problem. What you want to do is you want to hit left bumper and A or X, whatever it is on your console. Bring it down. Now we're plowing. That's right. We are plowing with this thing. Oh, but DJ, I need to plow, but I want to make a field, and I don't want to have to deal with it. Uh, well, allow create fields, just like you would with a normal plow. That's it. That's it. Pretty cool. <laughs> and you do not have to have the stump grinder portion on when you plow. As you can see, that is off, and it is plowing. So guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope that you liked my top 10. Whatever your top 10 is, or your top five, or your favorite mod, drop down in the comments section. Let me know what it is. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. If you guys wanna see more like this for Farming Simulator 19, let me know down in the comments section. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.